In my earlier video, which I recorded on Alibaba around August 20th, I said this as my title for the video. I said that earnings disappoint, but the stocks is up. So this gave a lot of clues to my intention, which was bullish on Baba. Right, I mark in various levels here. One was, as you can see from my chart, about $86. So that was the resistance I was looking at. So this was $86. And the other was around this level here. So that's 93 level. And today, Baba went up and is trading at 112 Alright, so this video I'll be talking about if you were to use DLCs, which is daily level certificates, then potentially the risk of trading into these DLCs and as well as the reward that you might have. And the reward can be very surprising to you. Next, I'll be talking about the key levels you need to note on BABA. This is a DLC contract that's listed in SOTGEN. So Jen is one of the issuer of DLCs in SGX and I'm interested to look at the historical prices of this DLC. So I click on the chart, scroll down and take a look at the past three months movement. Now, for example, I did the video of around August 20th and the price was around the low of 22 cents to high of 30 cents. Now, assuming I bought the DLCs at 30 cents, then let's talk about the maximum risk involved. So the risk would be the value of the DLC's contract, which is 30 cents, multiplied by the unit. Say, for example, I bought 1,000 unit, then the risk would be 30 cents times 1,000 equal to $300 plus the commission and the various charges charged by your broker. Now, how about the reward? The reward would be the difference between the current price of DLCs, which is about 70 cents, to the end the price that you bought. So you bought at 30 cents and right now at 70 cents, you made a 40 cents multiplied by the number of units, let's say 1,000 again, and that would be $400. Now, this means that your risk is limited because it's limited to the value of the DLCs. Whereas your reward will be unlimited it depends on how high the underlying can move this is where you are trading in dlcs then you want to consider whether the appeal of limited risk and unlimited reward whether it appeals to you all right alibaba moves up but still it is a downtrend why do i say that it is a downtrend because if you take a look at the overall price movement here then Alibaba has a make a higher high if you consider this as the major turning point. That means that in order to say that Baba is out and probably showing, you know, uptrend movement, that means on the long term, right? So there is a need for price to close above this red color zone, which I've drawn in here. And the price is approximately 117 to 120 Hong Kong dollars. So this is the 9988 contract, which is trading in Hong Kong, and it needs to close above 117 to 120. I'm waiting to see if price can break above it. If it doesn't, it then expect probably some retracement to come back down. And then whatever they have listed here, which was the previous resistance level, and they right now turns into support, would be the key level to watch out for. And that would be around $86, which is the first level. And then the second level will be 93 level if price do retraces downward. Let's compare your returns if you were to buy Alibaba stocks versus if you were to trade that with the DLCs. Now for Alibaba stocks, if let's say the reference point is 20th of August when I make the video, then until today, that would be about 40% gain. So that's still good. Now, however, if one is to trade into DLCs, then around the 20th of August, the DLC prices on average was about 25 to 30 cents. And let's assume that it was 30 cents until today that's about 70 cents then you will have made a gain of 133 percent so this is the leverage power of dlc's because it does gives you that three five or seven times of leverage versus a stocks have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like 